Well, hello there, kids. Welcome to the Dill Learning Channel. Today we are doing place value. Place value. Now, if you have been watching my other videos, you will know that we have already learned about tens and ones. Tens and ones. So you know that this is a ten stick, and a ten stick has ten cubes or ten squares in it. And this side is the ones. And that's when you have the ten stick is kind of broken down into pieces. And we have the squares individually, which makes the ones. So what we're doing today is if we already know about tens and ones, we are actually learning the place value when you see a number. Which number is the tens and which number is the ones. So that is what we are going to learn today. How do you identify the tens and ones when looking at a number? How do you identify the tens and ones when looking at the number? So let's go ahead and remind ourselves of our math vocabulary. Tens, so we know that the sticks are tens. And the individual squares are called the ones. Okay, so we first need to remember and remind ourselves about tens and ones. So that means you need to go back and review the other video about tens and ones because this video is just we are identifying where the tens are and where the ones are in a number. So that's what place value means, okay? So because of that, we are now going to move on from reviewing identifying our math vocabulary to actually looking at the number. So say we have the number 25. When we look at the number 25, one of the numbers is the tens place and one of the numbers is the ones place. So that's why it's called place value because the easiest way to remember that when taking a test, what is place value? Oh, which number is in which place? Which number is in which place? So when we look at the number 25, we are going to know that this five is the ones place. And the two is in the tens place. Okay, so sometimes I like to put a little line down the middle so we can really see that clearly. When we're looking at the number 10, 25, we know that the two is in the tens place and the five is in the ones place, okay? So if we look up here in our little corner, what does that look like visually using manipulatives? Um, and these cubes are called manipulatives. What does that look like visually using a diagram or manipulatives? Well, it looks like this. The two is how many tens? Two. So you would have two ten sticks. Okay. And then how many ones do we have? Five. So that's when you break it down individually with squares and we have one, two, three, four, five, cubes, which is also one, two, three, four, five, ones. So if we looked at the picture, how would we say this? We would say 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that's how we know this number is 25 and this number is 25 visually using manipulatives and with the place value, the, the five is the ones and the two is the tens. Let's count that again. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Another quick review on how to count tens and ones and identifying tens and ones. So now we know that the place when dealing with two digit numbers to the far right, we'll just put a little R, is the ones place. And the number on the left is the tens place. This is dealing with two digit numbers, one, two, 25. Okay, that's dealing with two digit numbers. Now another clue to remember the place value of a number is I like to circle the T and I like to circle the O. So anytime you're looking at the two digit number, you can remember, here's our clue, two, two. 
there's two numbers and then you write the two the word two underneath and you know this is the tens and this is the ones aha that's a nice little trick that many of the kids say thank you thank you thank you for teaching us that because now when I take a test I remember that when dealing with two digit numbers I write TO and it tells me that that's the ones place and that's the tens place when they're trying to identify and remember where the place value is for a two digit number okay now say we have a test say you have a test pretend like these two numbers down here are you taking a test so if the test says please identify the tens the place value for 35 where's the ones place and which number is the ones which number is the tens then here's the trick right oh it's a two digit number so I'm gonna write TO under it now I know where my tens and ones are the five is the ones because you spell ones O N E S and the three is the tens place so we would know that the three is the tens and the five is the one what if we're looking at a triple uh, triple number or triple digit number or a hundreds number such as a hundred twenty a hundred twenty well same thing you're gonna look at the two digits farthest to the right um, and that is going to be the two digits that you're gonna look at so where is the tens what number is the tens you do the same thing T-O. Got it? So here we go. We know that the zero is the ones, and we know that the two is the tens. So when you're taking a test, and if it's and if the test asks you which number is in the tens place, you're gonna say the two. If the test ask you, asks you which number is in the ones place, you will say the zero. Okay? Same thing over here. If the test asks you for 35, which circle the number that is in the tens place? Oh, well, if you wrote TO under it, you're going to easily get that answer right. And oh, three was in the tens place. Okay? So this is a great quick lesson to teach you about place value we're going to have more video videos on place values please just watch the videos over and over again until you get it i mean there's no rush here the great thing about videos it's not like a classroom where the teacher may stay on the lesson for two or three days and has to move on you can actually go back and replay these videos over and over again until you get it and you can also make some practice numbers on a piece of paper with two digits to practice um, practice writing which numbers are in the ones place practice writing which numbers are in the tens place Okay, I love learning with you guys. Until next time, goodbye.